So right now, more migrants are making the long journey from the Texas border to sanctuary cities. We've been talking a lot about this story. This is unfolding after a huge shakeup at the agency dealing with the ongoing crisis down at the border. And joining us now once again is News Nation's Allie Bradley. Allie, this top border official was asked to resign after a year of unprecedented migrant crossings. Yeah, Marky, you're exactly right. Commissioner Chris Magnus submitting that resignation late yesterday after only being in that position for a little less than a year, only about 11 months. Now, this is what the commissioner had to say. He said, quote, it has been a privilege and honor to be part of your administration. I am submitting my resignation effective immediately, but wish you and your administration the very best going forward. Now, this resignation was accepted by President Biden, the president thanking Magnus for his service at CBP. But this comes just days after DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas asked for Magnus's resignation, saying if he didn't resign, he would be fired by the president. So Magnus was in charge of the nation's largest law enforcement agency for about 11 months. He oversaw 60 thousand employees. Now, in that time, more than 2.5 million people entered the U.S. illegally through our southern border. The record number of encounters, just one of the reasons for the push to get him to resign. Now, sources tell me that Deputy Commissioner Troy Miller is the one who is going to step back into the role of commissioner until someone else is appointed. Agents tell me that they are optimistic with Miller back at the helm, saying that he actually engaged with them while he was interim commissioner. Now, this all comes as more buses are heading to D.C., New York, and Chicago from Texas. Governor Greg Abbott saying he has sent now 13,000 migrants to so-called sanctuary cities since April. After reports began to surface that another bus would be en route to Philly, which would be the first in the city of brotherly love, now that city's mayor is saying, quote, to the best of our knowledge, a bus has not left Texas destined for Philadelphia. We're keeping a close eye on this one, Marky, because the mayor is saying that this bus has departed from Del Rio and was going to head to, to Philadelphia. However, right now they're now saying they have not seen a bus depart, but they are anticipating one. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I reached out to Governor Greg Abbott. They are not sending any buses. The city of El Paso stopped sending buses October 20th, and Governor Doug Ducey saying that they are not sending any buses to Philadelphia either. I did reach out to Governor DeSantis's uh, camp there to see if anybody knows anything. They have not gotten back to me. So something we'll definitely be keeping an eye on. But as of right now, there are no buses going from Texas, from Del Rio specifically, to the city of brotherly love. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.